this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to do some pretty blue flowers on this green glass bottle I once again am going to be using my a magic paint brushes I have a link down below it's an affiliate link where you're welcome to purchase through that link and I will be using a 10 a 12 and covering up the I think it's a six and then a zero I have a little flat or a little skinny one down here that is going to be just to kind of give you an idea how to do like some little petal flipping all right and then I'm using a dotting stylus and a number eight Deerfoot stippler paint today of course is all folk art paint combination of multi-surface and enamels I'm using forest moss and thicket green, cerulean blue, wicker white, burnt umber, school buzz yellow, and yellow ochre. And I'm still using my camera to do the video. I'm hoping to get my new card for my video camera here soon so I can go back to those videos but anyways got to use what you have right all right so I'm just basically taking the cerulean blue the wicker white and going to be going back and forth into these to load my brush recommendation is that you load your brush up to three quarters of the way up the bristles I just find and you will find too as you paint you kind of get the gist of what works for you and that's what you do so how I'm doing it may differ from how you do it that's perfectly fine all right so let's go ahead and get started I am just doing a real simple petal on here and I'm just going to do just a little bit wiggling and I am going to create three of these. I like to work on odd numbers. I have cleaned off this bottle. It has been washed. And I rub did the rubbing alcohol on it to clean it off. And it's ready to go. When you're painting, if you feel like you need to put another coat on it, you know, feel free to do so. Just know that you just have to be careful when you do that so you don't lift the paint up. But that's definitely perfect, you know, and fine to do if you need to. Because the more opaque your paint is, the better it's going to be. And I just got my fingers full of blue paint, so here you go. All right, so here we go. We're going to start. And I'm just doing single petals, just going up and down and wiggling as I go. Now, when I'm doing these, I can make them bigger, make them thicker, because on my initial design, they are a little bit thicker, but that's okay. I like to do a little bit of movement with my colors and I think when you do that, it gives it a little bit more interest than if you're doing like all dark blue around all the petals. But you can do it, you know, if you like it to where all the colors are the same going completely around the, the flower, that's, that's great. Up to you. All right, so we're going to keep going here. And I'm going to just start. I will be doing some overlapping. And when you do this, you can actually do it to where you just pretend and like this is going behind it, or you can go over it, which is what I typically do, as I like to go over the top of the flower next to me. But I can also make it look like it's just partial, partial flower showing through and just do a pe few petals beside the flower. So however you want to do it, you know, that's fine. You got to keep in mind that in nature or whenever you're creating a bouquet, you're not going to have everything just lined up perfectly and not on top of each other. 
and overlapping, if that makes sense. All right, so let's just come here. I'm gonna do it like this. And this color combination seems to be, if you're, if you're noticing, it seems to be pretty opaque. Some of the combinations are not, so I feel like I have to go over them. This one I'm gonna do, it's like it's a, like it's a folding flower. It's not completely open. And you notice that I went ahead and reversed the petals so that they're white on this end and dark on the other end. Either way, like I mentioned, is fine. However you want to do it. And that goes with your leaves too. If you want to pay attention as to the direction of the light source, you, know, you can do that also. I don't pay that much attention to that part, so like this one I did more darker petals no particular reason I just decided to do it that way I mean I'm sure there is a directional uh, as far as protocol you know how you have the light source and all that I'm not too concerned about that on this actually I'm not concerned at all about it to be honest with you all right, so next thing I'm gonna do, pick up my other brush, my 10. Gonna do the same thing as far as the loading of the brush. And I'm sorry, I just don't have a whole lot of space. Actually, I do have a lot of space, but it's filled with stuff, I'll be honest. But when I'm doing my videos, I'm kinda like, I feel like I'm crammed into one little space. So I wanna kinda show you, I just keep, adding in colors and even as I'm painting I might just touch it and paint so that's why I say you've got to find what works for you and what makes you feel comfortable what I do may not necessarily be what's right for you so understand that that's okay everybody has their ways that they feel more comfortable so what I do doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you or it's wrong I right, said so this one's going to come over here. I am going to not really pay attention to having uh, too much as far as the the stems go. You know, if you want to have stems coming down like this, you can uh, make it like it's these flowers. The stems are coming down, or each each individual flower has a stem. That's up to you too. But I'm I'm not too concerned. I just have a few down here, or you could. Or go having a stem at all and just paint or paint leaves around them and I'm sorry my fingers are blue from tipping into the to the paint I'm gonna get my arm in the paint here in a second again if you follow me you know I'm not the neatest person at all when it comes to painting I'm pretty messy so like on this I can come back down I'm basically using four colors on these on these leaves. Oops, I'm high. Maybe even five colors because I seem to keep getting blue in here. All right, so I'm gonna go like this. Do some double double leaves. Do a little stem this direction. Now with it being a green bottle, sometimes I end up doing doing it with the green, the lighter green showing, as opposed to the darker. However, on this one I'm gonna do a few of these type of leaves. And I can actually kind of switch them around a little bit. Like that. Yeah, I'd like to try to add more than one type of leaf into my project. But I'm just going to kind of do just a little stem to it. I could do a stem down here. It doesn't really matter. It's like wherever you want to put it. It'll work. And let's go down here. And I'm going to put one down here. And then what I'm going to do is come back down this way and put the darker... Let me get, get my brush loaded a little better. See if I can do this without 
messing it up. Might have to tap it a little bit. Let's go do it again, go over it again. And then come through here. All right, so then I'm gonna come up here, just do a few more this way. Now what I'm gonna do up here though, is I'm gonna do more of the, just the real easy one stroke type where you just kind of pull them. To be careful though, because it is pulling up the paint a little bit. And I noticed that here, so I just have to be really careful, just hit it lightly. And do the same over here. Like I said, I'm really anxious to get my, or be able to use my video camera again, because I feel like I have a little more room to do this. And create these. This just gives me too, too small of a window. I just want to make sure you're able to see it. That's my problem or my concern. I did get blue in here. If you don't want to mix the colors at all, because I'm doing wet, wet on wet, then feel free to give it some dry time, hit it with a hair dryer, a uh, heat gun, whatever you have access to, just to give it some dry time. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna do like a stem, just kind of in a few places, just to give you an example of, of what you could do. Maybe even coming out here a little bit. And I think I'm gonna stick with this brush. I gotta kind of move on though, cause I got too much blue in it. Okay, so when you do that, I'm just doing it as a filler, you know, so that I have some filler leaves in here. Maybe a little fine, however you want to describe it. And I am just taking it out, bringing it back in, touching, bringing it back in. And then I can make littler ones towards the center. I can bring it back out. I just kind of want it to be a little irregular as far as how I'm touching and bringing it back in that the actual uh, leaves are not all the same length and I got to be really careful here because my brush is so long that I can actually end up hitting the camera so I don't I'm trying to trying to avoid that if at all possible if I feel like didn't get it in as cleanly as I wanted I can actually come back over them just lightly maybe even add some more color into it as I'm doing this as you see. All right. I'm kind of crazy with the, I don't know, I'm gonna say with the brushes, but with rotating, I'm sorry. Dogs have to bark every time I do a video. I don't know if it's the time of day I'm doing the video. I'm gonna come out here like that. And I can even switch them around a little bit where they have more of like the olive. Maybe throw in some brown. Just very, I don't want to say sporadic, but kind of. I'm just sticking them into the paints and I'm just going to mush them together. And the purpose of that is I'm just going to come through here and just add in some Random, I want to say like one strokey kind of leaves, just the smaller ones. And these definitely are more like filler, filler leaves. Then go over the top of the top of the flowers. And I'm sorry, you're the dog barking. Now my furnace is starting. Uh, let's see where else we might want to put some. Maybe down here. 
I've got some writing on this bottle. This is a Jameson bottle, by the way. My bottles are not all wine bottles, too. Just so you know, they're not. And I'm gonna do some more here because I don't have this little guy. Is the kind of like the bottom of it. And I'm just gonna come through here and put these little stems in them like that and I could just do some little wiggly little cute little stems that come out from them the only problem with these is that they're not very thick so it's possible you know you want to make sure that they're they're thick so that they do not come off easily that makes sense all right, so I'm going to come like that, bring that in, just kind of wiggle it like that. See, just very easy. You can keep going up the bottle if you want. All right, so then I want to get this done. I'm going to tip my Deerfoot stippler. I'm going to tip the front of it into the uh, school bus yellow. The back end of it is going to be into the brown, the burnt umber, and then I'm going to tap in my centers. And they're, they come in different sizes, so if you don't want your center to be very big, you can use a different size. Not tap as hard. Because really, basically, when, when you're painting, it's the pressure you put on your brush that'll determine sometimes the shape of your petals in addition to the size. So if you don't want them to be big, then you don't put as much pressure. Now I'm going into the yellow ochre, kind of tapping in some of that too. And this is the number eight. I'll come back over it. And I, when I load my brush, I do actually tap it on my palette because I, I don't want it to have completely the full load of the paint on the brush because that might then make it too heavy of a make sure I got all the ones that I needed to. I might make it too heavy of a load. So I'm getting some yellow on my, or blue on my brush too. So I'll come back over it and just tap in. And then I like to finish off with a little bit of white or a lot of white, depending. You can do that. Or you can just keep working with them to get them whatever the uh, amount thickness or whatnot you want on there. Then I'm going to come in here and just do some white dots. I like dots. If you don't like dots, then leave them off. Anything I'm showing you can be adjusted, can be left off. If you don't like it, you don't like as much, then do do what you need and how you like it to look. If you want to add another color into this, you can. You know, yellow or maybe even just a totally different color so it stands out more, you can do that as well. Or go lighter on the dots. But I like a lot of dots, I'll be honest with you. So that's why I do it this way. All right, then I'm gonna put a few dots up in here And this one too. Then I'm actually on these, I'm gonna come in here with some yellow. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm not gonna do this on the ones surrounding the centers of the flowers, so I'm just doing it on this one. All right, so there you have it. Pretty easy. I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that uh, notification bell. And then if you would, before you leave, share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, one other thing too before we go, and I just, just thought of this, I didn't show you. But a way to, I'm sorry, the way to you know, maybe show some flipping of your petals 
and and I just mean like you know that they turn up a little bit you can do something like that if you're looking at a white petal you can you know do more of the darker blue on the one side you know, kind of turn it but that's the whole purpose of the the smaller brush is to use it for that and just kind of give your give your your flower a little bit of movement because you know that in life they're not all going to be perfect and you might just have some curled up leaves here and there all right all right so you guys take care until the next time i will see you then have a good one